Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be talking about exactly how much air pressure should be in your big tractor trailer tires. So let's kind of give you a comparison. This over here is a car tire. As you can see, it's attached to a car. These big things over here, these are a truck tire. These are attached to a semi truck. That being said, you do not have the same air pressure from a car and a truck itself. In a car, 30 to 35 PSI, depending on the vehicle that you're driving, is normal. In a truck, you're going to want anywhere from 90 to 100 PSI in that truck itself, right? In that truck tire. So you have to understand one, how do I check it? What is the proper gauge? And how many times do I have to fill it? So when we're talking about trucks itself, trucks, tires are the same as car tires. Weather is going to kind of change the pressure around a little bit. If they get a flat, if they get a nail inside the tire, it's going to start leaking air. If it's not butted to the rim correctly, it's also going to start leaking air. There's nothing super, super special about these tires except that they're bigger and they're built to carry a lot more weight behind them. So to kind of give you an example, these truck tires are the only thing touching the ground and the air between the ground, the rubber, and the rim itself is the only thing holding up 80,000 pounds off the ground. So if you really think about it, that's pretty amazing stuff. Now, to kind of give you a visualization of what PSI actually stands for, so PSI stands for pounds per square inch, which means in a car tire, as we saw before, it's about 30 to 35 pounds per square inch, which means if you were to draw a square inch, which is this picture right over here, which is just a square, that's an inch by an inch by an inch by an inch, and that was 30 PSI, that means that that inch, if we put that inch onto my hand, that would weigh 30 pounds, which means, yeah, I could probably pick, leave it with one hand. Let's move over to the truck tire side, 120 PSI. So what does that mean? We have that square inch again. Let's bring it right onto my hand and we weigh it and it's 120 pounds. I'm going to need more than just one hand to kind of lift that kind of pressure up. That's how much pressure in those truck tires when you really visualize exactly what's going on there. So that being said, super, super important that you have the proper pressure pressure because if the pressure gets down too low, the truck tires will actually start going down from all the weight that's going on top of it. And what's going to happen is in the back tires, the buds, the tires are going to start rubbing together, which is going to cause friction. And what usually happens is friction causes heat. Heat causes the tire pressure to inflate and it's going to inflate to the point where it's just going to blow out. Now, if a tire blows out in the back, it can damage your equipment, it can damage a car next to you, so it's not super, super good to do. So, what, how often should you check your tire pressure? In a truck itself, it's part of the pre-trip inspection. So, pre-trip inspection means you must check your tires before every single trip. The checking tire pressure is also part of the in-route inspection and the post-trip inspection, which means tires are super, super important, which means before your trip, during your trip, and after your trip, you should be checking your tire. Now, the proper way to check your tire is with the tire gauge that looks something like this. The old school way of checking your tire is with a hammer, and a hammer looks something like this. Now, how can you actually check a tire with a hammer? So if you're actually an old school kind of guy, uh, what actually happens, a hammer, a long stick, whatever it is, you just bang on the tire, and it gives you that, that sound, right? So just so you understand what the sound is, I would check the tire pressure with the tire gauge. If it looks 90 to 100 PSI, bang on it with a, tire, with a hammer or something like that, and you'll hear what that sound looks like. If you hit the tire with a hammer and you feel a lot of vibration happening, in many cases, that tire is not filled to the proper pressure or it could be flat altogether. So you definitely want to make sure you're watching that because at the end of the day, very low pressure or flat tires are actually the ones that explode because of what I just told you before. So hope this tip helped you out. If you want to learn more tips just like this and how to get your CDL license, you definitely want to give us a call, 908-525-3609. We're the best driving school in the entire country. And the best thing that you can do if you want to find out more information exactly how much our courses cost, take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.